RadicalPrep.com. How's it going, everybody? We're going to do question 18 here from the free PDF test, and it goes like this. In December, it snowed K over 2 inches in Bakersville. In January, it snowed 60% more than it snowed in December. In terms of K, how much more did it snow in January? And what's nice about this problem is we've got a ton of variables here, variables and the answer choices in the question. So we're just going to pick a value for K and run with it. So I'm going to say that K equals 4. Nice, easy, manageable number. And it says in December it snowed K over 2. So that's just going to be 4 over 2, or 2 inches. Now in January it snowed 60% more. So I've actually got to find a 60% increase over 2. And a nice quick shortcut to that is you can just multiply by 1.6. This this here represents the 60% the increase. And if I said uh, it snowed 80% more, 1.8. 90% more, you know, 1.9. So you can plug that into the calculator or if you just know that twice of 16 is 32. And we've got one decimal place. We've got, ugh, let me fix that. 3.2 inches. So we went from 2 inches all the way to 3.2 inches and that's important because we want to know how much more did it snow. Not how much did it snow in January but how much more. So we've got to take the difference of the two amounts and you can do this in your head. I'm just gonna write it out so we have it. And we've got 1.2 inches. That's the difference, right? So that's our answer. That's the magic number we're looking for. The only problem is in our answer choices, it's not there, right? We've got all the variables. So you've actually got to plug this K value back in there. And after we plug them all in, we're looking for the answer or the answer that gives us 1.2. So I'll just fast track this. 60 times 4, we know that number is way big. 6 times 4, also too big, 24. You get this point, you can put in 0.6 times 4, but we already know if you kind of cover up the decimal place, what's 6 times 4? is 24. It's never going to give you 1.2. And finally here, we've got 0.3 times 4, and you know, you can, I'm writing it down, but you can kind of picture it in your head. You've got 3 times 4 is 12 with one decimal place. That's kind of the way I think about it. So you know the answer here is choice B. And if you've got any other problems or issues with questions like this, you can always check out my website, and that is uh, RadicalPrep.com. All right, everybody, take care. Have a great day.